Okay, off we go. So this is core and stability. Sit up nice and tall. Uh, make sure you have your weights nearby or something that you can hold on to that's weight bearing. Um, could be a pillow. Uh, also something that you could step on. Uh, you only need one thing that you need to step on. Sit nice and tall. Inhale as you lift those arms up. Breathe in nice and deep. And exhale it out. Good. Again, breathe in. Lift those arms. Inhale. Exhale. Blow it out. Good. Remember to listen to your bodies. If anything starts to hurt, either do less or don't do that move. Take your left hand, put it on your right wrist. Pull that wrist up and over to the right side. Pushing your ribcage out to the right. And bring it back into center, engaging that core. Switch hands, so right hand on your left wrist. Pull that one up and over to the right side. back to center. Clasp both hands together, push them up to the sky, lean the back, do a nice arch in the back, and the rib cage. Release your hands, big swan dive forward, dropping that head. Let that head sway side to side. Let gravity take its course. Right hand will stay at your right leg. Left arm will swing up to the sky, opening up that chest. Right arm swings down, left arm swings up. Bring that left arm down, put both hands on your knees, drop your right shoulder towards your left knee. Looking to the left side. And other side, left shoulder towards the right knee. your spine. If you want your elbows poked out, that's okay too. Just a little bit of a different stretch. And inhale as you scoop out your back. So these are your cat and cow. They kind of look like this. You're really arching your back for the cat. Oh no, I'm sorry, for the cow. And then exhale as you round out your back for like an angry cat. those Halloween cats that you can think of. Inhale, scoop out your back for cow. Pushing your chest up. And exhale for cat. Good, bring it back to center. We're gonna do a couple of belly draw-ins before we do our feet. You're gonna take that belly button, 
Pull it straight back to your spine, holding it there. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Your feet are flat on the ground, sitting up tall. And exhale as you release that belly. Good, again, pull that belly in, tightening that core. Hold it there. You shouldn't be holding your breath. And release it slowly. All right, next one, you're gonna pull that belly in on a five count. You're gonna hold it there for five counts and then release for five. So I'll, I'll guide you. Here we go, pull your belly in for one, two, three, four, five. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. And slowly release, one, two, three, four, five. So it's kind of like the different stages and you're really trying to notice how your belly draws in and out during that. Um, so that's just a little exercise to kind of uh, bring some awareness. Stretch out that right leg, inhale. Exhale as you slide down that right leg. towards the ground. towards your opposite shoulder, hugging it in. So this is what it would look like from the side. You're pulling that knee up towards your left shoulder. So do whichever suits you best.
you walk yourself back up. Grab a hold of that left knee, hug it in, rotate that ankle. Both directions. And when you're able to, bring that left foot over to the right knee or your shin or ankle. Either sit up tall and pull that knee to the opposite shoulder or hinge at the hips and lean forward. Up, out, back, down, last one, 
up, out, back, down. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you just yet, but I have told you in the past, um, if you are able to try to sit away from the back of the chair, not using that backrest. Um, if you do need a little bit of that low back support and you're having um, low back pain, what you can do is scoot your bottom all the way to the back of the chair, sit up tall still. So I'm not using that backrest. I'm sitting up tall, just using that little bit of low back support that will help you just enough to um, help with that back pain, potentially, I, or hopefully, that's what we're looking for. Um, so it gives you a little support, sitting up tall. If you're sitting like this and using the whole thing, this isn't gonna do much for your, your core strength. That's what we're really trying to get at for this class. So um, try not to cheat yourself. Sit up nice and tall and um, follow along. All right, we're gonna go with our right leg now and our left arm is gonna lift. That was one. Here's two. Down. And three. Good. And up. Good. And last one. Excellent. Good, let's do the other one. Left leg up, right arm up. Opposites are going up. And down. And up. Down. Try to be nice and control of that leg and arm. And down and up. Down. Last one. Up and down. Good. All right, let's do same side. I can't remember if we did that other side yet. The same side, go right leg, right arm lifts. Good, down and up, down, up, down. This is my right leg, right arm, lifting, down, last one. Good, other side, left leg, left arm, here we go, up, down, up, down, up, down, and last one, up, and down. Good. Both arms go up now. If your shoulders start to get weak on you during these, um, you can always go to shoulder height, or you can do like I Dream of Genie arms, what I like to call it. But it's up to you where you prefer. Sit nice and tall. I'll show you from the side. You're going to slightly, you're gonna, well first draw in that belly button, so tuck that tummy in. You're going to lean slightly forward and sit straight back up. Okay, so lean slightly, keep those arms strong and sit up. Good, and again. And up, lean forward, up, last one, forward, and up, good. Shake out those shoulders if you need to, good. Arms out to the side, you're going to twist towards the left, bring up that left knee. Back to center. Twist to the right. Bring up that right knee. Back to center. So remember you can do um, genie arms if you need to. Alright, twist. Right or left leg lifts. Center. Twist. Right leg. So a bit of like coordination. A bit of balance. That shoulder strength. Do two more. Twist, center, twist, center. Good. Shake out your shoulders if you need to. All right. I'm 
we're gonna do ballerina hands, but if you want, you can just have your hands up tall. But I like to call these ballerina hands. You're in a nice little like bubble. You're going to dip towards the left, draw that belly in, snap it back to the center, okay? Dip to the right, snap it back. Left and up. Right. Up. Good. Left. Up. Right. Really using those obliques. Those are your side muscles. Left. Up. Keep that core strong. And last one. Right. And up. Good. All right. Grab your um, oops, weights. Uh, you can use two or you can use just one if you want. It's up to you. But at least, or hold like a pillow if you want. Water bottles works too, that's perfect, good job. Or soup cans, anything, be creative. I'm just gonna hold on to this guy. Um, it's my, just a little two pounder today. I think my shoulders are feeling tired. Sit nice and tall. You're gonna go from the left shoulder up and above to the right shoulder. If your shoulders are um, painful during this, you can go out in front of you like you're stirring a pot of porridge, okay? All right, up and around. Pay attention to that core when you're doing this. Keep that core nice and strong. You're not letting that belly flop out. If someone were to come and punch you in the gut, you would already be prepared. I guess you can think of it that way. Up and around, and last one. Good job. All right, over the head, lumberjacks, and all the way through the legs. Okay, over, now. I changed the direction of holding my weight, so it's a little bit easier to swing it this way. Hold it, whichever suits you best. Remember, if your shoulders are hurting you, you can go from your shoulder height through the legs and back up to shoulder height. Still paying attention to that core strength. Good. And just do two more. That was one, two. Good. Hug it into your belly. One hand on top of the other. Or if you just want to hold it like this, that's cool too. Sit nice and tall. Pay attention to these elbows, twisting those elbows all the way to the left. Kind of pulling it into that left hip. Bring it back to center. Twist into the right. Back into that right hip. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center, good. Left, right. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can slow it down. That's cool. You go at your pace. And last one. Twist and twist. Good. Bring those knees together. I'm going to go up onto my toe, so I'm lifting up those heels. We're going to hinge slightly. Bring those arms over the knees. Sit nice and tall, bring them up. If it's too much to go on your toes, you can do flat foot, that's okay. You can lean forward, bring those arms over, sit on up. I'll show you from the side. Keep going, and then forward, engage that core, sit nice and tall. Good. Engage in that core, sit on up. Good, let's do two more. And last one. Good. All right, next one. Swing those arms around under the feet, or under the legs, sorry, and back up. Around, hinge and forward still. If you need to bring those knees 
slightly apart, that's okay. You wanna break off on your toes. It's another um, way to do it. Really try to focus on that core and what you're moving, what you're bending, how your body is responding. We're gonna do two more on this side. Last one. Good, all right, switch direction. Bring it out from the other hand. So now I'm going to the left, exchanging to my right. Good. Nice and controlled. We're focused. Good job. sitting up, pay attention to that core, tightening it up. What muscles are you using to sit up? All right, last one. Good job. All right, grab a sip of water if you need to. We are now going to Grab the item to step on. So grab that item and put it under your right foot. I have this like half circle thing that I found at our clinic. I know it's like an exercise thing, but if I was at home, I'd probably use a soup can or one of those big soup cans. Um, red Solo cups or like styrofoam cups are cool to use too because um, it really makes your brain think about how much pressure you're putting on that foot. Because essentially, we really don't want to be putting much pressure on this um, item. We want to be nice and light on it. So we're not like weighing down on it while we're lifting up this left leg. So be cautious of your weight distribution. Sit tall, engage that core. Left foot is going to be, um, uh, left foot is going to be, you're going to do it on your toes. So let's go up onto your toes. Uh, heel is raised. You're going to take that item, going to go from the left shoulder up and above to the right. So we're just trying to throw off our brain with our balance and the weight. And where our brain is focusing trying to fire up new neurons in that brain. You guys are doing great. Remember when you're raising those arms up, tighten that core up. Good. And two more. One, two. Good. Adjust your legs if you need to. If you need to bounce them around, go for it. Otherwise, we're gonna go do lumberjacks. So tall, strengthen that core, tighten it up. I'm up on my toes on my left foot and swing through. If you need to, just go from shoulder height and it just look like this. Okay? Same thing. Good. Big swings, keep that core strong. Two more, one, two. Good, let's do cross body swings. So from the left side, across body to the right. Pay attention to your feet and how they're carrying that weight or supporting you. we're doing and which ones are your favorites that you're able to do them throughout the week maybe tell your therapist which one's your favorite 
which one you're going to do so they can hold you accountable. Two more. One. Two. Good. Shake out your shoulders. Hug that item into your belly when you're ready. Point those elbows out. Right foot is still on that, that item. Left heel is going to be raised up. And twist to the left. Center. Twist to the right. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. to do any of these full workouts throughout the week, you're in luck because we like to post these on our YouTube page. So it's called Phoenix Recreation Therapy. Two more swings. One, two. Good job. All right, let's see. Do we twist side to side? I don't think we did that one yet for this. So nice and tall. Bring those hit hands into the center. Twist to the left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Right. Left, right, two more, one, and two. Good. All right, switch feet. Let's put it on our right foot. When you find that sense of balance, bring up that left foot. This is where you'll really be able to notice your weight distribution. So left foot is raised, right foot is on uh, the item. We're gonna hold onto your weight or whatever you're holding. We're gonna go around the noggin. Picture yourself like the sun and your little item is all the planets swinging around your head. You're the center of the universe. <laughs> Keep that core strong. That left foot is raised. 
If it's too much to raise that foot, you can go back on your tippy toes. Good, rest that foot. When you're ready, we're gonna bring those arms up. Lift up that left leg, you're gonna tuck it up and lower it down. But don't put it all the way down. We're just lowering it up and down. Pulling that left leg in. Pay attention to your right foot. Don't put all your pressure on that right foot. I know it's hard. Two more, one, two. Good, rest that leg. Trying to pay attention to the clock. Hold out that item, left leg up, open those arms, transition your item into the other hand. This is our big balance act. Our left foot is raised, it's not on the ground. Right foot is though. Open, close. I'm switching hands in the center. Two more, one, and two. Good, let's switch feet. Left foot on that item. When you're ready, right foot is gonna be raised. And take the item, go around your head. Let's see, um, opposite direction. I really can't remember which way I went. But try to go around your head, whichever direction you haven't gone yet. Keep that right foot up. If this one hurts your shoulders too, I would suggest just making me a pot of porridge again, stirring out from your chest. Two more. One, keep that core strong. Two, good, rest that right foot if you need to. When ready, arms up tall, bring that right leg up, swing that right knee up, and the arms over. Good. Whew, sorry. <laughs> up and over. go all the way up to the above your head like this you can still go for shoulder height two more one two good rest that right foot sit up tall last one for the for the win sit up tall bring up that right leg open those arms and transition your item into the other hand good job Keep that belly tight during this. Open and close. Your back is strong, your belly is strong. Two more, one. Good, set your stuff to the side. We'll do a quick little cool down. So let's roll out those shoulders. Bounce them up and down. Twist towards the left and drop your right knee down. Your right toes um, are on the ground. They're supporting you. You're gonna lean back. If um, this is not possible this direction you can also do go under your wheelchair or between your legs of your chair and um, pull that right foot back so whatever you're able to do we're just trying to stretch out that right foot up excuse me your right thigh Start to really think 
about these exercises that you're doing and how they're benefiting you and how to keep doing it. All right, come back to center. Stretch out both feet in front. Slide down those legs. If you need to just go to your um, thighs, that's okay too. Point your toes to the ground. You can go one at a time and pedal them if you need to. So I'm doing one up, one down. Good. Bring it on up. Inhale those arms up. Breathe in. Exhale them down. Last one. Breathe in. Nice and slow. Flex those palms. Sky. When ready, you go nice and slow on your own exhale. So as slow as you can. Very good. Thank you all for joining me today.